What is up guys, Josh from 207 Cornhole, and today we are bringing you the OGs from Black Sheep Baggers. This design is pretty cool, I got them on trade. These bags are pretty slick looking. Um, I like them, I like the design quite a bit. Um, they've got some new designs on the websites now that I really, really like, um, and some other bags like the Costellos and the Blackwaters I wanna give a shot to. But I got these on trade and I figured why not try them, they were brand new. Um, brand new, they are pretty stiff. These have been thrown some and dried a little bit, but not much. And they're getting there. Um, I don't know how much they do break in, that's where we're at right now. And they still, they throw pretty well. Uh, what is the speed on these, if I can remember? Uh, I think it's a four slow side, eight fast side. And I'd say it's pretty consistent with that. The carpet reacts very well on the boards and the fast side is pretty quick. Uh, one of those fast sides that I have a difficult time with. They're pretty old friendly when they get near the hole. They do go in pretty well on um, the fast sides friendlier than the than carpet side This carpet is a uh, style. that's pretty stiff. So it will take quite a bit of breaking in I think But we'll throw them and we'll see how they react on the boards outside uh, Price point on these. I can't remember exactly what they're going for now Because uh, I do believe oh man, I believe That they are around 70 or 75 dollars. No wait, you know what? I think they're sixty dollars for. Hang on, let's just look it up. Instead of me lying to you guys, I'm gonna look it right up. Um, but anyways, while I'm looking this up, they are a good bag. They they're very nice in the hand. They're they take up a lot of your hands. So you get a nice feel for throwing them. Uh, they're very comfortable. And I was wrong. They're now that they're stamped, they're eighty dollars. They're seventy nine ninety nine for the stamp version now. So they are they are going for about eighty bucks right now. So that's what you're gonna pay if you want the um, OGs and that's with a stamp bag. These are not stamped, the ones I have here. This is one of their actual like original designs, I believe. So these are not what you'll pay for now. You will pay for the the cool design they have now and they're $80 stamped. So that's where we're at price wise on these. They're uh, aftermarket, I don't really know what they're going for because I don't see them selling very much in the aftermarket and I don't really pay attention because I got these on trade. So I do apologize for that. They react well, like I said, they play well, they're nice in the hands, they're a pretty cool design, the fill isn't too big, it's a pretty small fill, so it's it's nice to throw. I like how you get a nice handful of them. Nice rounded corners, nice templates, just an all around nice bag, guys. Especially if you're just getting into the game, I would highly recommend these. Uh, they're not on the expensive side, but they're on the super cheap side, they're kinda right in the middle, but they're a very good bag to get started on, especially this carpet. It uh, It's a slower carpet, so it's nice and plates very well. And I think for somebody learning either suede or if they want to throw carpet, this would be the bag to go with. So, there's not much else to say about this bag because I'm just going to let the bag do the talking. So let's get outside and throw them and we'll see how they do. So let's get at it. What's up guys? Like I said, we're out here right now with the OGs from Black Sheep Baggers. These are fairly new bags, like I said before. I've um, done a little bit of throwing with them and I've done them tumble dry to try to break them in a little bit. I do apologize for not doing a brand new video on them. I should have. But uh, let's throw them and see how they do on these boards. It's about 74 degrees and a relatively low humidity at 61% right now. So they should play pretty good on these boards being the carpet side. Don't mind the dog. Right. Do a little bit. I actually don't mind these bags. I throw a friggin' clock today. Ow! I ball guy, guys.
little bit of a fast side now, and we'll see how that does. All right, we're gonna throw a mixture of both sides because the fat side is a little quick for me, especially in these faster bore conditions, not real sticky today. All right, guys, so give you a little bit of an idea of these bags. They're pretty good. The slick side's very quick on these the lower humidity boards. So it doesn't stick real well. I think in high humidity, that quick side would be great. This carpet does grab, stops are on the boards, so that's nice. Not stops are on the boards, I can't say that, but it does slow down on the boards. Slick side is very hole friendly. The uh, carpet side is pretty hole friendly as well. Um, I just feel like the slick side grabs it a lot more and toilet bowls it in if you catch the edge. Um, they're good bags. I like the design. I like the way they feel. They have a nice feel to them. They're nice. They're not too floppy in the hand. You get a little bit full of feel, so you can throw them pretty well. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I'd recommend them. I think they're a good bag. So I definitely, if you get your chance to get a hand on the OGs, I know they have some new designs out that I actually really like better than this design, even though it's a pretty cool design. I like the new design a lot better. So, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so, yeah, give them a shot if you get your hands on them, especially if you like carpet. They're a good carpet bag to get into beginning because they're slower on the carpet side and a little bit quicker on this side so you can push really well so yeah that's all in the bags um, I do so I mentioned something in the in the filming of this video that I don't usually get into this but it, it bothers me um, and I just wanted to give a shout out to our men and women overseas and their families back home because the time of filming this the airport in Kabul uh, just got hit with the suicide bomb and 12 brave men and women of our service um, services, I believe it was the Marines, were killed over there, and that's 12 families back home that, 12 more families back home have to be notified that their loved one is not coming home. So, I don't usually get into it like that, but time of filming this, it's heavy on my heart, so I kind of wanted to give them a shout out and thank them for their service and thank all those that have served for their service. And it was not pointless of us being over there. You guys are the reason we're free, and you guys are the reason that I'm out here being able to do this and my freedom's back home. So I just want to give a big shout out to all those that have served overseas and currently are serving. Thank you and due to you, I'm able to be out here enjoying what I love and enjoying my freedoms back home. So again, thank you. This is Josh from 207 Cornhole. Have a good one guys.